depending on where you grew up and like how you got involved in the sport, you probably started out playing something else. You know, volleyball just has this kind of gravity that sucks you in. And with Pat starting so late, it was just a matter of, you know, just kind of fate for him really. Just kind of like kept putting himself in the right place at the right time and finding his path and then ending up here at Ball State. I was just excited to go play college volleyball. I wasn't uh, sad or anything or thinking anything too serious. I wasn't stressed out. I was just excited to play college volleyball. And and see how the first season went. St. Francis College has announced the elimination of its 21-team NCAA athletics program due to the financial impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's back to the drawing board on how they'll finish out their college careers without their sport. I look at that and I think, man, like how much more luck is there involved in him getting to Ball State? And, uh, and because he's so young in the sport, in experience, he has so much room to grow. And uh, I think he's... He's just scratching the surface of what he's capable of. Feeling like your top dog, that's the New York vibe. It was awesome. It was uh, always busy, always doing something. Or He's all around, and, and um, there's a lot of access in, in New York City to, uh, to do stuff, play volleyball, play beach volleyball, some good courts in New York City. Um, it's only 15 minutes away, so yeah, it was awesome. I played basketball since I could remember. It was the first sport I really took seriously, and I, uh, I played up until senior year of high school, until that was over, and I think I was the best at it out of all the sports. So uh, that's what my favorite was, basketball. My sisters always played volleyball, so I was always around it, and that uh, never really played a competitive setting. And my parents thought I should try it, and I did one year, and it was uh, not in my position now. I was a middle originally, because our one of the teammates, one of the middles I was uh, playing with, broke his pinky first tournament. So for the rest of the year, I had to play in the middle. Um, yeah, and then and then uh, I switched positions the next year. And it was fun. It was it was my first year, and I uh, it was a lot of older guys I looked up to. It was an 18s team, and I was 15, and a lot of guys I looked up to on that team, and still do. I originally committed to Pepperdine, and um, decommitted from there because they had two new coaches that left, and uh, so I committed to a school that I knew who the coach was and trusted who the coach was, and. Um, my freshman year was there and it was good and, and uh, unfortunately the program got shut down so they brought us into a um, into the auditorium all the athletes at the school and said um, basically the program's being shut down so there was a lot of people that were sad and, uh, and I was also affected by that and um, yeah, it was it was a rough time. It was like, dang, you know, like it's just, just that's it, you know. And everybody had to find a new place to transfer, and it was it was not fun. Um, I was just hoping someone would pick me up, and, and so I could play somewhere else. He spent some time with the national team this summer, and so did I. We were just in two different groups of the national team. Uh, and when I heard he was getting invited, I flew out there and observed a training and, um, and had a chance to kind of meet with him a couple times. So, um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a huge blessing to have him a part of the program and, and glad that we were uh, able to kind of take this like recruiting interest and actually come to the point where we are now where he's on the team and, and doing such a good job. I don't really have much expectations. I just hopefully want to uh, win a uh, MEVA, MEVA tournament. I want to win that with the, with the team and, and I think we're able to. He's been good ever since he's entered this team. A later addition to the team, only a sophomore, his first year playing at Ball State, but he's certainly 
been making a huge impact. You know, we want him to be a leader in his own way. I think that's become a big part of, uh, of what he's kind of evolved into is you don't need to be a, a loud voice in the gym to be a leader. Uh, how do you lead without being outspoken? And that's through my actions and, and, and my the way I carry myself. And then how I manage myself in competition, you know. Um, there's moments, you know, in a couple games where he's really got into it and it fires the group up. Um, and I think he's learned how to figure out a way to leverage that to benefit our team. I don't need to play super high and super low. I just need to find a balance on the game. And when he plays steady like that, it just has a positive impact with everybody else that's around him on the court.